Okay, we we uh, got our rocks out of the way, and uh, now we're talking about the scoring elements. That's right. right. So there's two aspects to the scoring elements. We want to talk about collection methods and delivery mm -hmm. methods. So let's start with collection methods. Let's do it. So this year's game, we have a white wiffle ball that has been used in games uh, past. So returning FTC teams uh, will recognize that. That's our silver element, our silver mineral. Nice. And then the familiar cube, which has also been used previously, and that is our gold element. Ooh, silver and gold. There silver. Goes. Oh, silver and that's gold. perfect. Exactly. That's why they did it that way. Yeah. yeah. So what are typically some of the methods that we, because we got a rule this year, one of the changes for this year's game is mm -hmm. that they can only control two elements at a time when they're outside the crater, right? That's no, exactly right. No scoop and dump? Yeah, that's nope. going to change some of the strategies that yeah. we, as far as collection methods, right? Sure. So no, no dump truck type robots. Um, so uh, teams are going to have to be um, to be delivering the silver and the gold elements to the lunar lander where the goal is um, mainly two, you know, two at a time. Gotcha. Yeah. So what are some of the strategies that we might use to collect these? Yeah. So the... so one natural approach may be able to you know to create a, an end effector or a gripper. And uh, of course, uh, everybody knows that um, um, teams are not allowed to use an off-the-shelf gripper or something that comes right out of the box. And so um, we have to get creative. We have to build our own. And fortunately, we've, uh, we've designed, or Tim has, a few robots here in the R&D lab where we've done several iterations of grippers, and uh, we thought we'd just show, show you a few of them. Cool. Show me what you got. Yeah. So um, here's one that Tim designed, Ooh. and um, it's, it comprises of, uh, of a couple of uh, moving pivots. And Tim, Tim designed it, so Tim can tell you a little bit, technically a little bit more about how it's designed. So basically, I created, uh, used a worm gear and two helical gears, and mm -hmm. I created a parallelogram. Um, mm -hmm. My two parallelogram. arms are Excellent. parallel, and as they move in and out, they actually form a gripping motion. And one of the advantages of using a worm gear like this is they can't back drive or back load the motor. Okay. So that when I grip an object uh, like that, it stays uh, within the oh, gripper and there's no extra gonna, load. You're not going to accidentally drop something. Yeah, mm -hmm. until I tell it to drop it. Excellent. So that's an that's uh, advantage of that type mm -hmm. of, a, of a gripper. Sure. Um, anything else, Paul, that you want to call out about, yeah. about that? So typically, uh, you know, uh, teams would put this, this, this gripper out on the end of, an, of, an, of a robot arm because um, we, uh, if we're not traversing the crater wall, we're going to have to reach into it to get the minerals. And we also remember the lunar lander uh, sets, uh, sets off of the playing field, so once we, once we are gripping our gold or our silver mineral, we have to carry it over to the lunar, lunar lander and lift it up and Drop in. Drop it in, and, yeah. And, so, and we'll, we'll talk about some of those uh, actually a little later on. Okay. Now that's not the only type of grouper that you could build, and this one was not built to scale for this particular challenge. That's just gotcha. a, an example of sure. a parallelogram type of grouper that they could build on their own. Exactly. Yeah, so uh, another really cool gripper that Tim has done is what I think is really cool. Uh, is this uh, this this uh, three three pincher type oh. type arrangement uh, using some, like the claw? It's That's like the claw, claw. absolutely. Mm -hmm. Now yeah. the cool thing about this, what I really like about that, is is that you can come straight down. Um, actually, and Tim, um, okay, I'm a novice operator here, but but the cool thing about this is you can come into the crater and come down straight down on your element, pick it up and deliver it. Nice. I really think that that's cool. Yeah. And then being on the end of on the end of effector, we can turn it, lift it up, and drop it right into the lunar lander. Another thing I like about it is it's really lightweight. It uses minimal elements. It uses our uh, Teptix Prime plastic gears and a single servo to drive it. So. Not again. The weight rule. We right. want to make sure that that we're being very efficient in how we design. But powerful. But powerful. Absolutely. Cool. Yeah. So then, you always can go simple. Okay. Um, there's there's if if this is a little bit too complicated, sure. uh, you can as, uh, grippers can be pretty basic, pretty simple. Here's an example of just one of the most basic mm -hmm. types of grippers, is we just have a servo that is uh, two gears connected and they. Be Forms of pinching. Like also. a yeah, like a claw or yeah. like a lobster. Claw. Yeah. So you can see yep. like that we can pick something nice. up and then take it and deliver. Again, yep. simple sometimes is best. So but with the it being so simple, does it have any disadvantages over the other two? Well, you can see sometimes you, you have to uh, adjust there I've only got two points of contact there. So, so it may so. not hold it as tightly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. And then you can always you can always put some uh, maybe some grippy material or things like oh, okay. that. The, you'd have to consult the the, the rule the, the game manual to see what materials are legal. But um, 
you know, different rubber and vinyl and things like that that you can slide over the slick metal surfaces okay. will definitely help help grip that, tubing, things like that. That's great. Yes. So that's gripping. That's, that's gripping. one of the things as far as uh, one uh -huh. side of the challenge, but the other challenge is delivering it. Once, mm -hmm. How do I get it to um, the, the, the scoring location and actually yeah. take it from where I collected it to right. delivering it. So, so what are some options there? Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how teams approach this. Um, that might be one of the more difficult parts of the game. Um, so I can bring in our big bot yeah. here again and cool. um, we can show you uh, here an example now. Again, this is just a bot that we've built here in the R&D lab. But uh, one, it, it's got some um, really good foundational elements that, that one might use in this year's game. So we talked about grippers. But now um, you can always do a scoop approach as long as you're sure that you're not scooping up a bunch of elements right, at once. Right, because you can only have two at once. Exactly. Right. So, you know, one approach you might take, a, uh, we have seen scoops in the past, we've seen sweepers in the past. Um, and this just is, is an example of how a team may build a very simple scoop. We've just taken some of our Tetrix flat plates and we've, uh -huh. and we've bent them. Right. Yeah, to make a scoop. And so if, we, if you can imagine our rover rolling into the crater, now, we might as well get a silver and a gold all at once, right. you know, it's and magical. scooping scooping up our elements. And in this particular approach, our arm would swing all the way up. We would keep our elements level, and we'd back into the lunar lander and possibly dump our elements in backwards. So, Excellent. you know, just as an idea, that's that's one approach we may we may. So we it may doesn't see this have year. to always be a gripper. It can yeah. be something more simple. Now, yeah. obviously, a uh, team would have to um, uh, obviously reach the top of the lander. This would not be high enough to okay. reach the top of the lander. And again, we're just showing you some foundational tips and elements here. We would definitely teams would definitely have to have this arm extend higher to actually get it to the lander. Gotcha. Yes. Another approach that we've seen a lot in the past is some type of a conveyor mechanism. And um, we have an example here, again, just, a, just something that we've built here in the R&D lab just to demonstrate one approach you may take. Um, we've built a, uh, an example here of a conveyor and how you may design a conveyor. Now, again, this would have to be changed and modified to fit onto your robot. Um, this would have to be you know, geared or something so we can move it, lift it up higher and things like that. Right. But we felt like we wanted to show this. Um, this is actually two, two, uh, a double wide tank tread. Yeah. Um, this is the Tetrix tank tread like we saw in our, in our, in our drive base video. Right. But we're using it for a different purpose. We're, we are using our Tetrix paddles, our paddle inserts. Hey, it's a mining game, right? This is something you, you might see in a, in a coal mine right. or something where we're delivering minerals augering them, if you will, or so, up to a high point. And uh, in this particular instance, you would have to have a gripper or some type of a collector to collect your minerals, place them on your conveyor, which maybe is off the back side of your robot. Okay. And then once they are on our conveyor belt, we have a motor, and I'll let you, we would deliver them. ching look at that. We would yeah. deliver That's them great. right into our goal. And so, um, the advantage here is our tank tread kit is rather lightweight. Again, going back to that, to that, to that weight we have to watch. And um, it can be designed to be as short or as long as you want it to be. And, um, you know, with a little bit of creative, you know, um, gearing and, and leverage points and stuff like that, this could be a nice movable, adjustable yeah, conveyor that down. I think yeah. that you could, you could, you could really uh, utilize uh, quite well to deliver the minerals into the lunar lander. So that's all, uh, those are kind of the, the scoring aspects we've got. We talked about collecting the elements, mm -hmm. talked about that for this year's game, we can only have two at a time. We've talked about delivering them. So the next thing we can talk about is let's talk about the end game. Mm -hmm. It's all about the end game.